you know, talking about uh, the cryptocurrency total market cap. And I want to focus on the weekly time frame. So the cryptocurrency total market cap, right? This is a total market cap right here. And I want to get rid of, you know, the weekly MACD. And I also want to get rid of, you know, the weekly RSI. And I want to focus and I want to get rid of this moving average. And I want to focus, you know, purely on price action. So this is a weekly time frame, and we have, you know, very clear patterns, uh, very clear levels, you know, to really talk about. We have, let me use, you know, something else that is going to give us a more concise, you know, more levels that are more accurate. So we have, you know, clear levels and we can look at this, you know, in terms of a range, you know, I like to look at range instead of uh, like a specific, you know, price target. But we have, you know, very clear levels that we absolutely need to talk about and need to keep our eyes on. You have, you know, this level right here, you know, $1.12 trillion. And then you have this level right here this is another level right here around you know 300 and i mean excuse me, not 300 around 935 billion dollars so this is below the trillion dollar market cap and then we have this level right here around you know just over one trillion dollars and then we have this level right here around $768 billion. And again, you know, preferably, you know, looking at it in a range, it's a little more clear and, you know, it really puts things into perspective. So where we are right now, you know, we are trading at a very, very, very crucial level. If this box right here, if this zone right here is lost, right, then we are going to see the total market cap come all the way down to retest $768 billion dollars so we are basically talking about you know retesting 2022 lows you know if we come all the way back here we're retesting the lows of 2022 so we put in these lows you know sometimes in uh you know november of 2022 now of course you know you also have you know some levels right here you know, let's not ignore these levels right here. You know, somewhere around $800 billion. But I'm looking at the bigger targets. You know, I am looking at the bigger targets. And I think, you know, $700, uh, $700 billion is, you know, more of a bigger target, you know, compared to this $830 billion. But this is a level you know, nonetheless, this is it level. But we need to keep our eyes on the zone right here. You know, this zone where we are trading right now, if this is lost, that is when we end up, you know, retesting these levels right here. If we get some support, you know, if we get some support right here, and I'm looking at a retest, you know, up, at around $112 trillion. And if we can break above that, then we're looking at another retest around $1.24 trillion. But if you look at this setup right here, if you look at this setup right here, this is not looking bullish. And in fact, 
this is looking bearish. We are once again, you know, back below the 21 weekly moving average. So the total market cap for the first time since early 2023 is back closed and trading below the 21 weekly moving average. This is bearish right here. I want you to look to the left. If you look to the left, every time we've traded below the 21 weekly moving average, this has been extremely bearish. You know, not just bearish. This has been extremely bearish. And we've spent, you know, many, many weeks pulling back and retesting, you know, lower targets. You know, am I predicting that we are going to be extremely bearish and we are going to spend, you know, many, many weeks retesting lower targets? No, that's not what I'm predicting. What I'm showing you is that, you know, based on previous performance, whenever the price was above, uh, was below the 21 weekly moving average, we've been you know, very bearish, you know, how bearish really doesn't matter. But we've been, you know, very bearish. And now, since the price is once again, you know, back below the 21 weekly moving average, we more likely, we more likely to be bearish and we more likely to spend the next couple of weeks trading below the 21 weekly moving average, which also means that we could potentially retest some lower targets. So this is not looking good right here. Just simply, you know, by looking at it and using different indicators, you know, this is not looking good. If we use the Bollinger Bands, right? Price trading between below the orange line and the lower blue band is bearish. And here we are again in bearish territory. So we are right now, you know, trading between these two lines, you know, which means that we are going to see, you know, a continuation of this pullback right here. And if we look at the weekly MACD, we have a very strong bearish confirmation. And I actually talked about this in one of my recent live stream. Whenever you have, you know, a bearish weekly MACD, like from a bullish outlook, this is not what you want to see. Like this right here is not what you want to see. You know, if you are predicting the price to go up. Like this right here is very bearish and it actually looks, you know, extremely bearish. And I am, you know, anticipating a continuation of this pullback and this blue line right here. You know, before we get any sort of good news, I think this blue line is going to pull all the way back to the zero line. And right now, you know, we are not at the zero line. And what that means is that for the next couple of weeks, the total market cap is going to continue to pull back. And again, in terms of levels, you know, I gave you them. And if you were to ask me, you know, where do I feel comfortable? You know, if I was to give my prediction, where do I feel comfortable that we are going to retest? You know, I will have to tell you that these lows right here around the lower $800 billion, you know, lower $800 billion target. You know, I think these are, you know, very realistic target. We don't have to retest the lows of this bear market. But if we do, it also wouldn't surprise me. But this right here, 
you know, doesn't look good. And this is a representation of the entire cryptocurrency market. So if we look at individual projects, you know, we are more likely going to see a similar setup. So this is a total market cap. Uh, looks incredibly bearish. And I think, you know, the next couple of weeks are going to be very rough. And we can't forget the fact that we've been in this downtrend, you know, for since early April, actually. You know, this was, you know, the 17th of April. All right. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is going to be our ninth week of this pullback. This is going to be week number nine of this pullback. And if you look at the chart, if you look at the indicators, you know, all the indicators are screaming bearish. But that is the total market cap. You know, let me know in the comment section you know, your thoughts on the total market cap. If you are new here, just do us a favor and hit that subscribe button.